YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your boy Inky and Brand. We back at it like a bad habit. Shout out to everybody who's tuning in. All right, so Zion Williamson, I gotta get on your head, bruh. I gotta get on your head, bruh. But this is this is all with love, though. Ain't no hate. You know what I mean? Uh, you're doing your thing, bro. You filthy rich. You, your athlete, your uh, your athletic skills are out of this world. I think you need to lose some weight, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you, you you're getting hurt a lot and all that body weight. You, you you putting on yourself when you jump and dunking and shit. I think it's kind of messing with your uh, your lower body, man. But that's neither here nor there. But I'm gonna discuss uh, how important it is growing up as an adolescent to have player partners around you. You feel me? To have people that got game with mouthpiece that can kind of teach you about how the game goes, so that way you're not running around like a chicken with your head cut off later on down the line. Uh, you know, in your career in this situation like Zion is, right? So I'm going to dive into that, man. Um, just, you know, there's a bunch of rich, game-goofy simps and tricks out here. And Zion just happens to be a young one, all right? Now, like I said, no shade to the brother, but this is all with love, all right? Because uh, I don't care who you are at some point. We all had to learn a game at some point. You feel what I'm saying? So... Nobody was just born super game up with crazy mouthpiece. No, we had to learn. You had to get it out the mud and learn this shit, right? So, so yeah. So, yeah, so Zion Williamson. If you don't know who he is, must be not a sports fan and you living under a rock. But crazy talented, um, playing out of uh, New Orleans for the New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, you know, very, very highly tutored coming out of high school. You're supposed to be the next LeBron James. Went to Duke, and then now he, he's in the, uh, you know, I mean, now he's in the NBA, man, making a ton of money. Um, but he's been having health issues, like I say, he can't stay on the court, man. But that's that's for that's, that's a, another topic. So here's my thing, man. Right? So he got uh, recently exposed uh, by a, a P star. You feel me? You know, YouTube be on some BS. Uh, Bob P star, like a 32 year old P star, man, that he was smashing all right. She, um, I guess she didn't like the, the fact that he got a stripper pregnant on the side of her, and the stripper is old too. I and from what I'm hearing, the stripper he got pregnant is is one of Boozy's, uh, one of little Boozy's baby mamas. So they had a gender reveal, and Zion's, you know, on the camera smiling like, oh yeah. You know, to my unborn daughter, just know that we love you and all this shit, man. And I'm just sitting, sitting, shaking my head like, man, what is up with these youngsters these days, man? Uh, you know what I mean? Now, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm an angel and I've just only messed with pure women my, my whole life. Because that's clearly not the case, man. Uh, I've dealt with strippers. I've dealt with 304s. You feel me? Not not paid. <laughs> I've never paid no strippers for no 304s. But I've dealt with them. If you... If, if you dig what I'm, what I'm saying, though. Um, but there's a time and a place for everything. Women like that, OnlyFans, uh, OnlyFans, chicks, 304s, strippers, they all, they're all pretty cool chicks, honestly. I mean, they're down to earth. They like to turn up. They like to have fun. You know what I mean? They'll let you hit, your partner hit. You feel me? If they, if they rock it with you, you feel me? So I'm not saying necessarily to not deal with them but when it, when you get to a certain status Zion, like you and you have a name like you and you got money like you do bro <laughs> there's no way I'm, I'm just gonna keep it a buck bro you can do a lot better than this you can do better than the only fans ho you can be you can do better than a, a, a prostitute you can do better than strippers bro now if you want to smash on the side with the condom on i get it i understand because they do look good they got good bodies and things like that so, you know, it is what it is. But for Zion Williamson, again, a guy, a multi-million dollar man with plenty more money to go in his career. Granted, he, if he can stay healthy, stay on the court. Um, he, he, his upside is he hasn't even reached his, his uh, zenith yet. You know what I mean? He hasn't reached his fullest potential yet. So for you to be that reckless and smash, you know what I mean, these 304s and all that, right, raw and get him pregnant. Especially when she's not even an exclusive chick. I just don't understand this. I don't get this. 
What is up with these cats, you feel me, impregnating these old ass stripper hoes? Didn't, um, uh, not LaMelo Ball, the other Ball uh, brother, you, you know the Ball brother, man, not LaMelo, what's his name, man, the light skinned tatty, tatty cat, uh, damn, I forget his name, but he knocked up an old, an old 3042, man, I'm just like, man, what, what are y'all niggas doing? What are y'all doing? Y'all realize you have to pick a litter, right? You can actually choose any girl you want, and they gonna fuck with you nine times out of ten. You know what I mean? Zion Williamson could have knocked a regular, average, everyday bad chick who nobody knows, with no, with, with no name, no social media. He could have knocked something like that. Like that's what I would be on. I'm looking for some pretty, you know what I mean? Some witty, and some that nobody knows. A girl with not a large social media account. Definitely not no only fan ho or no stripper, no prostitute that I'm gonna impregnate or, 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 or a P star. I mean that's out. That's all the way out. Uh, I don't know if Drake set a trend just because Drake did it. You rich niggas think that it's cool to impregnate P stars or strippers now? But hey, man, I guess and, and her BBO looked disgusting. I actually posted it. I posted a picture of it, of it on my community tab. I said this is the bitch that I was like, what the fuck? Um, I think her name is Mariah or something. You feel me? So she exposed hella text messages. Basically, Zion in the text messages simping, telling, oh, you know, I know it's just transactional right now, you know, and I'm going to still take care of you on that end, but one day I want this to not be transactional. And the whole playing her role in the text message, she's like, yeah, yeah, daddy, yeah, uh, you know, I've been dealing with you since 2021, and I think that we, we need to take this to the next level, and what they want to do you feel me? She running game, man. Which brings, which brings me to my next point, Zion. When you're dealing with, with 304s, OnlyFans, uh, 304s, things like that, prostitutes and strippers, hey, man, they got game. All they do is con men their whole... That's that's the name of their of their game. That's their career is to con men, to lie to men, manipulate them, sell them a dream, sell them an image, uh, uh, stroke their ego to get, to get the dinero. You feel me? That's their whole job. So why would you even trust a, pro, a, a 304 or a stripper and get her pregnant, bro? When her whole her whole life is a facade and her whole life is dealing with manipulating men and lying to men just to get a, a, a dollar out of them. And your simp ass over here in the text messages talking about, yeah, I'm going to still take care of you, man, but I just want this to be less transactional. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to put a ring on your, on, on your ass. Bro, why would you wife a why would you wife a P star or a strip or a prostitute? You know how many uh, bodies the average three up four has. Now, and salute to Brittany Renner because I actually recently heard a clip of Brittany Renner. She she said her only her body count was like twenty eight. I said, damn, that's it. That's kind of low, y'all. I'm gonna be honest. I mean, it's high. You know, I, I, obviously, man, we don't want to wife no chick who smashed thirty guys. But y'all gotta understand today's climate, y'all. This is 2023. Women have the most sexual options as ever, uh, uh, at, ever in history. We have a global, uh, we have a global, um, a globalized sexual uh, marketplace now. You know what I mean? Uh, so, hey, if a woman is bad, she gonna have options. If she wanna run her body count up, she can. And if she's getting paid to smash, bro, these chicks have thousands of bodies. On a side note, when I was, uh, I say, nah, I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna put her out there. Let's just say growing up, I knew some young 304s who was already in the hundreds by the time they hit 18 years old. All right, I'll just put it like that, right? So, no, Zion, these women are not wiping material. No, Zion, you're not supposed to smash these girls raw. No, Zion, you're not supposed to get <laughs> 304s and OnlyFans hoes and pregnant, uh, uh, pregnant, okay? So, furthermore, uh, which, which what I, you know, when I said earlier in the video, the importance of having play partners when you grow it up, right? Now, I get it. When you're an athlete and you're, ded you're truly dedicated to your craft like Zion was growing up, you're going to be very sheltered most of the time. You're going to have two-a-day workouts. You're going to be studying. You're going to be in school. You know, you're basically waking up, practice, go to school, after school, practice, go home, homework. You know, eat well, get your good sleep, and then rinse and repeat. So you're not really in the streets partying and going out to clubs and going out to functions like that, like 
somebody in my stature was when I was like 17, 18, you feel me? Like when I first got my first car, you know what I'm saying? I'm 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 rocking. I'm going to different places in the bay. I'm rocking my cousins. I'm going over here, going there, getting in the clubs, you feel me? So um but the importance of having a player partner, and, and but when I say player partner, I don't necessarily mean he has to be a player like that. But a player partner, you know, just somebody who's game tight, man. Somebody who's not game goofy. Somebody who knows women's nature to a certain degree. You know what I mean? Somebody who knows that in order to get more out of a woman, you got to give her less. Somebody who knows that being a full-fledged simp ain't going to get you nowhere. You feel me? She's going to look at you as a trick and manipulate you for your wallet. Uh, somebody who knows how to talk to women, how to, uh, how to um, get in her head using his words. You know what I mean? These are skills that men have to develop, and unfortunately, it doesn't come easy. It's a, it's a lot of trial and error, me included. I, 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 you know, I get on here and talk about tricks and simps and all that. You know, look, I, I've, I've simped before, but I've learned from it, all right? And I think we can all agree that we've been there and done that and learned from it, and then after you learn from it, you learn the game, then you improve your skills as a man. You improve your mouthpiece. You improve on your uh, charisma. You learn how to, uh, like I said, uh, you know, fuck her mind before you actually put it in her. You feel me? These are skills that are needed to be successful in women. So when you're young and you have the opportunity to gain these skills as a youngster, you're going to be way more, way more game tight. Way more game tight when you hit 18, 19, 20, 21. You know what I mean? So, um... So yeah, man. Uh, you know, you gotta surround yourself with some with some player partners, man. Somebody who's good with women. All right. Uh, maybe, maybe. Um, and you would think that that this would automatically probably be in them just because they're high level athletes. But but y'all, look. I went to a pretty prestigious high school, and I I, uh, I went to school with a lot of these athletes, man. And a lot of them were getting getting getting. You know, they were getting play. But I do know that a lot of them were. Fully immersed in their craft too, so um, so I'm gonna give Zion grace for that, right? Uh, and he grew up in a small town, in South Carolina. You know what I mean? So so not chances are he didn't have no game growing up. He probably was, you know, I'm not gonna say a square, but you know, he probably was on some square shit growing up. And he didn't really know how to talk to women and deal with women. He probably he probably was a virgin for a very long time. Okay. Which I'm not slamming the virgins. I'm just saying, though, he, he probably is not that experienced. Because there's no way that you're supposed to be sipping, sipping for three old foes and OnlyFans hoes and, and, uh, and strippers. You know what I mean? Uh, they are for recreational use only. All right? Invite them over for a night, play with them, do your thing, get them out, but do not get them pregnant. So, yeah, Zion, um, you don't have to hold this L, man, and you, you got to think about. Not only you. I, I want men just in general to think about this, right? When y'all wiping up these three old foes and you're getting them pregnant, right? Putting a ring on the thing and all this craziness, right? What, what do you think? Do you think about your child's future? Like, you do know when your child gets gets older, you know, it's going to eventually come out that your mom was on OnlyFans, you know, and everybody knows the color of her butthole. You know what I mean? You do know that you know, she's a stripper, a well-known stripper in the city. Like, everybody going to know that's your mom. Like, like it's just, that's embarrassing. So now your kid going to have to grow up, maybe have to fight somebody, maybe have to shoot somebody for disrespecting their mama. Man, you know how black people get about their mama. You imagine going to go, oh, yeah. hey, ain't your mom the only fans home, man? Oh, yeah, man, I started getting plucked on by whoop de -whoop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I started playing with a dildo and all this. This is crazy. And this is Zion Williamson we talking about. I don't understand these high-level guys with these high-level careers wiping up these hoes, man. I really don't, man. Like I said, I would have got a chick nobody know about who's who's gorgeous, young, no kids, low-key. That's the type of chick you want to wipe up. Not no saggy diaper butt, fake BBL having, ran through P-star stripper hoe. Who Boosie, Boosie already ran through and impregnated. Like, bruh, you have the resources to get a virgin if you want to. A bad one. You can go out of you can go out of country and get like bro, the, 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 the your options are unlimited, Zion. So hey man. Uh 
Hey, man, I'm not the dick police. I just call how I see it. Uh, there's a lot of uh, young, rich, uh, game goofy Simpson tricks out here running the NBA, man. Uh, Zion Williamson just happened to be one of them. Um, even Paul George. I know Paul George, you feel me? And Paul George, he from the, from where I understand, he from one of them sections, you feel me, in L.A. He should have known better, but he wiped up a stripper, got her pregnant, married her and all this shit, man. Hey, man, look. Maybe, y'all let me know in the comment section. I'm going to leave y'all with this. Y'all let me know in the comment section, fellas. Am I wrong? Would y'all wipe up a 304? Would you wipe up an OnlyFans uh, 304? Prostitute, renegade, 304. You know what I mean? Would you impregnate a, stri a stripper if she was bad enough and feminine enough? You know what I mean? Would you do it? That's off limits for me, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say I'll smash a stripper. You did. I'll deal with them. You know what I mean? But taking them serious and impregnating them with my seed to have my son or daughter? Oh, no, 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 no. That's out. That's all the way out. And if I was filthy rich like Zion, you wouldn't even... <laughs> Hell no, she couldn't even get next. She couldn't even sit next to me. You know what I mean? I'm, like I said, I'll smash her with a condom on, maybe. And that's it. And Zion, you don't have to trick, bro. You don't have to trick. You don't have to trick. Court, you, you, you could actually court a chick. You actually have the resources to actually find a feminine woman who actually comes from a good family, who knows her parents. You can court her. You feel me? If that's your girl, look, I, I believe in being a provider for, for my chick. I don't have no problem paying my, my bitch's bills and all this shit. She's doing what I needed to do and all this. That's cool. I'd rather have it like that. But don't leave with your wallet, bruh, and talking all this. Oh, I know it's just transactional, but we'll do, we'll do, we'll do. You sound like a whole trick. A game goofy ass trick. You know what I mean? Who getting finesse. And that stripper who getting that baby out of you, she won. Her old ass won. You know what I mean? So, yeah, Zion, I don't know why you're doing with bitches in their 30s anyway, bro. If I was you, I'd, I'd be knocking down 20-year-olds, 20 21, you feel me? 21, 21, you know what I'm saying? Uh, up to maybe 25, That's that'd be my max if I were you. But, hey, man, I'm just talking shit and swallowing spit, man. But, hey, this your boy Yankee in the Brain, man. If you like the video, hit the like button. Definitely subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to catch you on the next one, man. I'm going to do, I'm gonna do a, a video on Travis Rudolph. Um, I'm still kind of doing more research. There's a lot of, uh, to unpack with his case, but I'm glad that, that he, he, he got off. So salute to Travis Rudolph, bro. I know you were stressed the hell out going through that trial, man. So I'm going to touch on that. But y'all be smoking, be solid.